Hello everyone, this is Brittany with SLPmaterialgirl.com here to talk about the Articulation Workbook Bundle, L, R, T, H, and the S, Z sound. It's available on TeacherPayTeachers.com or uh, TPT.com, I believe. You can also uh, search on Google for it. One, I'll put a uh, link in the description box below for you to find this. But I just want to talk about the incredible value the Articulation Workbook Bundle has. So as of right now, uh, December 12th, 2022, it's um, on sale for $39.99. That price might go up as I add products to it, but that just continues to increase the value. Um, right now, four workbooks are included in this bundle. The L Sound, R Sound, TH, and S and Z. And I have a description below on this page, but I don't really think it does it justice of just how much is included in this workbook. So that's what the purpose of this video is today, to really look at uh, what's, your, what's your bang for your buck, what are you going to get today by purchasing this workbook. So I'm going to put this at the bottom. Okay, so when you purchase the workbook, you get all four of these files. They'll be zipped and you just, you know, um, uncompress them and then you can save them and do whatever you want with them. Um, you just save all files, unzip them. So you get four files. Um, I figured let's just let's just go over them. So let's go over the th file first. I'm going to do this kind of quick um, because there's a lot to get through. Okay, so th articulation, sorry. You get these various sorry boards, initial, medial, medial and final position, um, TH. Um, each board has a die on it that you can play with. You just randomly stop it when you want to stop the die. Um, I have the rules right here. You roll a 1 or a 6 and you get to leave home. Rolling a 1 or a 6 gets you an extra turn. You roll a 4, you go backward. Standard sorry or aggravation rules. So we rolled a 6. Our student gets out, they go again, they rolled a four. Oh, they get to go backwards, so they're going to go beneath, froth, sleuth, sloth. That really helped them out because now they're only two from the end. Now, you can do it how I just said. You can have the student read each, um, each card, or you can just say, you know, you can have, you, you know, you could say, We'll say sloth five times. So they went one, two, three, four. Sloth, 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 sloth. Okay, so that's another way to do it. Or you could even have them if they're at the sentence level. I saw a sloth climb the tree. Okay, good TH there, student. Um, so I recommend always make your student purple and make you the, the SLP or the teacher red. That way, um, it helps with orientation of the board. I mean, if they want to be red, that's fine. They're just going around, and this is their home base versus here. But you get the idea. So that is Arctic Sari. Okay, then we've got Arctic Caribou Instructions, and then we have actual Arctic Caribou. I'm going to just click into the game. Slideshow from beginning. Okay, so we've got multiple boards for articulation caribou. TH in initial, TH in medial, TH in final. Right there, yep. Okay, so let's let's play one of these. If you're familiar, familiar with the physical game caribou, similar rules. There are five balls hidden behind these cards. You and the student take turns. So let's say I'll go first. Um, I'm going to see if one of the balls is under toothbrush. So let's say I want the, you know, I'm going to say it five times. Toothbrush, 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 toothbrush. Oh, don't rush it. You were getting a little slushy. <laughs> well, I probably wouldn't say that to a student, but you know what I mean. No, no ball. Okay, so now it's the next student's turn. They want to do weather. You can have them say it multiple times, three times, five times, say it in a sentence, however you want to elicit that sound. Um, so weather, no, no ball. How about birthday? There it is. The red ball was under birthday. Very nice. Um, so you take turns going through the board, getting your trials. This is a fun way 
to find all five balls. Um, you can play this with just one student. You can play it with between two students. Um, you can also you can play it between two students, or you can play it with an entire class um, or a, a group rather. And there's the last ball. Okay, so we've found all five balls. So who is the winner? The student that found the last ball or the student who found the most balls? So let's say it's whoever finds the last ball. Okay, so student B found the last ball, so they get to open the treasure box. Yay, surprise! Look at all the fabulous prizes they got. They um, A pizza, a s'more, a big box of treasure. Looks like an iPhone, a pony, a big screen TV. Lots of fun. A drone. Wow, what fabulous prizes. All the boards do that. So that's Articulation Caribou. Um, all the boards are, for the most part, different. I think I have a couple duplicates in there, but as you're going through, the boards will vary so the children won't be able to guess where the ball is. Okay, so you also get Articulation Checkers. Cats versus Dogs. Initial, Media, and Final, TH. Your defeat is certain. Ha! We'll see, cat. So we've got um, standard checkers. I would probably play this with an older kid, maybe third grade. Um, I'm trying to think if I've ever played this with a second grader. It just depends on the kid. Um, you guys know that. So with checkers, I would make the student red so they can keep themselves oriented. Put their name where it says player one. You would actually put, you know, let's say the student's name is Ashley. Um, and then for player two, I'd put, you know, Mrs. V, that's me. Okay, so now we can keep ourselves oriented because when these checker pieces get all over the board, you might actually forget who is who. You might forget, you know, where you are when they're everywhere. So by having these little labels, that keeps you oriented. I put a little recommendation here, only move objects with the four-pointed cursor. Control-Z to undo. Control-Z is going to be important because let's say you go to move this piece and instead of moving this, you move the whole board. Well, are you going to take the time to try to line this perfectly back up? Or you can, on your keyboard, hit Control-Z, Control-Z. There we go. Now it's back to where it was. So if you make a mistake and move the board, you can quickly and seamlessly undo that mistake. Or even let's say the student wants to say, you know, think, think, think. Oh, no, no, I didn't want to do that. I actually wanted to do thought, thought, thought so I could jump you. All right, I'll let you take that back. So, well, I didn't do it. So you, uh, you can control, control Z, you know, to move that piece back quickly. Um, so that's how you play. A uh, student goes thought, thought, thought. Okay, this blue piece is going to the dog pound. Well, that's all right, because now I'm going to do uh, there, there, there. Oh, no. So you're, you're playing checkers. It's pretty pretty standard. Initial, medium, final. Uh, this is the online version. There is also a printer-friendly version at the bottom. So if you want to print these, um, go ahead. All right, so that is checkers. We've got bonus reward games. This comes with all of the articulation packets, so you're going to see this in all the packets. It's just, uh, you know, connect four, uh, row one. All right, well, then I'm going to put my yellow piece in row five, and you play in connect four. This is just a nice little reward game, or you can pair this with the flashcards, and I'll be showing you the flashcards in just a minute. Pair this with the flashcards, and you could take turns as you're going through your flashcards. Um, mean X's or sweet little O's, you're playing uh, tic-tac-toe, banana bonanza, you're going around the board seeing who can collect the most bananas into their basket. So let's say blue little monkey lands here, both bananas are going in the blue monkey's basket. So it's got the die, you're rolling the die. Race to the bath, you get to pick from these three pups, which one do you want to be? You're racing to the bath, whoever gets to the bath first wins. Um, like I said, you can pair this with your Arctic flashcards, or you can just use this as a reward game. Picnic Adventure, this is a long one. Uh, this, you know, race to the, the bird nest game, uh, very similar to Banana Bonanza. Here's your die. Play and pause, you know, randomly. Check out SLPMaterialGirl.com. Shameless plug. All right. 
We've got Chinese checkers. By the way, this is just the TH file so far. Just the TH file. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of goodies are included in this. Chinese checkers, I would definitely do this with an older student. Um, I do have accommodations for young readers, so these cards are, um, you know, written, and then these are pictures. So thirsty, thank you, throw. I'm going to control Z those back. Okay, so Chinese checkers, write who's ever which color. So let's say Mrs. Mrs. V is green and red will be Ashley. And I'm just putting this here to keep everybody oriented. Because let's say we're doing a group session and we're also playing with um, Mark. Mark is orange. So you see it would get all over the place if you didn't have these labels. So you just do that. So let's say Ashley goes first. She does G to 104. Um, before she can go, though, she has to say theirs three times or five times. Theirs, theirs, theirs. Okay, very good. Uh, where do you want to go, Ashley? How about G to 104? And standard Chinese checkers rules, you want to get your all your pieces across the board. Once you've done that, um, you win. Uh, the reason this board looks a little busy the reason it's a little busy is because Ashley has to be able to tell me she wants to do I to 106 or um, Mark has to be able to tell me I want to do J to 65. Um, otherwise, I have to give the kid the mouse, which you don't always want to do. Um, now, there is a version if you do want to give the kid the mouse. It's after this good game, good game slide. It's down here. If uh, you have a child you have a good rapport with and trust with, and you want to hand them the mouse, um, you know, say theirs three times. There's, there's, there's. So they just pick it up and move it. it. There's no numbers on here. It's So it's a little less busy on the eyes. There's still the numbers, but at least there's the pieces aren't labeled with letters. So you get a lot of boards with that. Okay. We're up to I Spy and Scavenger Hunt. This is just in the TH file, folks. This is a lot of value for $39.99 as of right now. Um, it's only going to get better from here, too, as I continue to add products. I'll definitely make sure to discount it heavily. Um, so standard scavenger hunt. Uh, by the way, you're thinking how, you know, some of these words are a little abstract. Theirs. How am I going to know which card is theirs? Um, it's actually this one right here. It's, you know, their pets. Um, those dogs are theirs. Um, the flashcards. The flashcards will have these labeled so you can learn them. If you go through the flashcard pack once, you'll be able to figure it out. So like their, um, them, thought, throat, uh, thirsty, thumbs up, therapy, thief. So I know these because I created this, but if you want to know these, you would just have to go through the flashcard pack. Um, you go through them once and you're going to have it. But there's the scavenger hunt. And then we also have an I spy version. So I spy with my little eye something pink. Oh, is it the arrow to the thigh? No. Is it the thong sandals? No. Is it the... Uh, oh, thousand. Yep, it's thousand. So you see I got a couple trials on that. Um, medial, medial TH, same gig, final. Yeah, you get it. Um, the flashcards. I probably should have introduced these first. So these, all the words um, that you find in the games are in these flashcards. Um, so you might want to go through these first, just so you know what's what, picture-wise. Um, initial, medial, and final. It's all there. Yep. Um, these are great to pair with any game you have um, that you want to use with the kids. Um, it's also great to pair with that um, bonus games. Uh, there's a lot of flashcards here. All right, and then we have tic-tac-toe and dice bucket game. Tic-tac-toe. Um, this is the digital version where you can actually move, you know, on the screen. You're taking turns with these physical X's and O's. Um, control Z. To undo what you just did. There's also a printed version at the bottom though. Um, next couple slides are printed. So you cut out the pieces or you can just use chips if you have chips. 
And then here's your tic-tac-toe boards without those digital pieces. Then the dice bucket game, I recommend printing these and then having the kids color them. You get it, it's the dice bucket game. You uh, take turns seeing who can fill the most buckets. So they roll uh, one, uh, they get thermos, thermos, thermos. They color in their bucket. Maybe they're coloring it in red. Then it's your turn. Uh, you also roll a one, theme park, theme park, theme park. And you color yours in in blue. Then they go again, they roll the three, they, they, they. Um, let's say these three buckets are full and then I then throw, you know, roll a one. Oh, well, I can't fill a bucket. I basically just lost my turn. So now the student goes, they roll five. They're filling that up. And then I roll another one. Oh, goodness. So now you see the students uh, winning the game at that point. They have filled more buckets because I keep rolling a one and this row is filled up or this column is already filled up. So that's how the dice bucket go game goes. You can have two students play. Um, you can play with the student. You know, whatever. Um, so that's it for the TH file. And that's just the TH file. We've also got the L file. Um, we've already went over, oh, actually this is this is unique to the L file, the RTIC activities. So let's open that up. Oh, it's the dice bucket game again. It's just in a Word document instead of a PowerPoint. So L, initial, medial, and final. Pictures included for young readers. I'm just seeing if anything else is at the bottom of this. It's been a while. Oh, there's a Mad Lib. Okay. Um, Artixara, you guys have already seen that. Instead of TH, though, it's vetted L words. Um, Artic Caribou again. Artic Checkers. Bonus Reward Games. Chinese Checkers. The Ice Spine Scavenger Hunt. And then the flashcards. So, same deal. We've got S. Um, oh, S has a Apple Trouble um, book companion. If you've never read Apple Trouble, I would definitely do that with your students. Um, I've actually read it to a student as old as, I mean, she might have been, I think she was in fourth grade. The book is so sweet. I mean, she, female, uh, which, you know, female or male, depends on the kid uh, or whoever. But the book was so sweet that even though she was an older kid, uh, she really enjoyed it. I enjoyed the book. Um, but Apple Trouble, it's about a little hedgehog going on her way, and she keeps getting things stuck in her spines. Um, great way to practice S um, in a book. So I have the sentences. Uh, the student can go along and highlight them and practice the words from the story. Um, there's also a coloring activity, a front load activity. So have the student at, but when you're done reading Apple Trouble, these are some of the S words I practice today. They can go home and show their guardian um, suddenly, scurrying, nest, spine, small. See, the, the vocabulary, it's a little higher too in this book. So that's why I think it's appropriate for many ages. And then I included this bonus um, front load vocabulary. So let's say you have a student working with context clues. Um, bobbing, hedge, braid, they have to now define these words um, after you read the story, the, the word within context of the story. So you can target, you know, if you have two students with two different goals, one has Arctic and one has um, using context clues. Um, these are some great words to do that. Their reward is at the end, they get to color the little hedgehog. So a lot of fun. Um... Yep, we've got Arctic Activities. That's probably Dice Bucket. I'm, I'm, I'm positive this is Dice Bucket Game and a Mad Lib. Oh, no, this is different. I'm not positive. <laughs> okay, so uh, it's storytelling in I Spy. So I Spy is pretty self-explanatory. Um, I Spy something green. Oh, is it the dragon setting fires? No. Is it the tree that's on fire or that has smoke coming from it? No. Is it the snake? Yes, it is the snake. Okay, so another thing is storytelling. Um, if you have a child that's at the level, like the conversation level, they've um, they've gotten through word, you know, phoneme and then word level and then uh, sentence level, and now they're at the level of conversation, you know, conversational speech to address their sound. Uh, the scared princess ran from the castle. Um, the brave knight wanted to save her. He had his shield. Oh, well, shield is not a good word. I need to kick that word out. He had his shield and sword. Um, you know, 
but the dragon was coming after them and was setting fires. I don't know. Whatever you want to do. Um, and then, so like a storytelling. Ignore this shield. That's the uh, sh sound, not the s sound. I, I should have vetted that word closer. Um, Mad Lib. Little uh, cards to print out, like sentence strips. Bucket game. You got it. We've got Caribou, Sari, Checkers, Bonus Reward, Chinese Checkers, um, Medial s &Z Practice Questions. I think this one's unique to the S-File. Um, you know, what do you find under a Christmas tree? Presents. What is Harry Potter? A wizard. So you see we're really warming up our Z before we begin our other activities. Uh, another way to warm up your um, S sound is the are these drains. Um, this, this is a nice visual, so you're having them pull that S out. Castle. Messy. Faces. Mister. You see, it's just having, it's the nice visual. They're pulling out that S um, to warm up those, uh, warm up their lips and their mouth parts to get ready for whatever you're going to do with them that day. If you put this in, uh, Sideshow mode, you won't see that red underline saying it's spelled wrong. Castle or Mr. Crispy Disc. Nice visual for kids. Um, SNC flashcards. I mean, that was the same as the TH file, but now we're doing initial, medial, and final S words. I do group these by like ST, SN, SM, SP, S you know, SM. Just vowels. Anyway, you get it. And then we've got Z at the end. That's final Z. Medial Z. Initial Z. It's all there. Nice flashcards. Good and printable. All right. And then uh, last one to look at would be the R. Um, same products we've been looking at. The Mad Lib. Uh, the Dice Bucket Game. Oh, there's a book companion to Listen to the Wind. Very lovely story. Um, this is um, targeting uh, vocalic R, where mothers gather, stranger. Um, you can have the, ki uh, the student say the words multiple times, highlight these words as they hear them in the story, so they're listening carefully for those ERs as you read the book to them. Um, here's at the sentence level. And then a story organizer, just a little basic story organizer if you want to have them retell it at the conversation level addressing those R's. Um, sorry, caribou, checkers, bonus reward game again, Chinese checkers, and flashcards. So guys, this, I hope I've impressed upon you how much is included for this price point. Um, all these workbooks, uh, lots of games, lots of activities. If you have any questions, you know, you can contact me at slpmaterialgirl1 at gmail.com. I know that's not a very official sounding email, but it's what I got at this minute, and I will always have that email. So you can also go to slpmaterialgirl.com, and you can just contact me through the contact page. Uh, this site's great. It also has all my products that are on TPT. Um, you can access them here as well. Um, Here's the articulation workbooks. I've got individual items, caribou, flashcards, etc. Well, I hope you have a wonderful day. I hope that you made it this far and that uh, you're interested in the product. And I hope to see you either at TPT or SLPMaterialGirl.com. All right. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.